So I don't know about you guys, but I heard that the Butters had a three-way with the Sesames and the Statics. And this Yeezy Love Child was made. What is going on guys, Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. Today though, we have a review of this Yeezy right here. The latest and greatest 350 to hit the market in the US at least, and this is the Lundmark colorway of Yeezy uh, 350 Boost. We have a problem here because we don't know who the father of the baby is. So we do know that the static is the mother, but we don't know if the father is the butter or the sesame. So leave a comment in the comment section, butter or sesame for the dad. We will have a DNA test <laughs> at the end of the video. We won't actually have a, a DNA test. This video could not be complete if I didn't understand what the heck a Lundmark is. And according to Wikipedia, a Lundmark is a crater um, and it's eroded crater at the far side of the moon. It lies to the southwest of the blah 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 yada 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 moon stuff. So that's a Lundmark. That, that explains the color. Again, we are hit with another pair of Yeezys that we have no idea why the colorways are called what they are. And maybe it doesn't impact anybody else, but for me, I am left scratching my head every single time asking, why is this called that? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me, but that is what we've adapted to since that is what we've been force fed to believe whatever names that we're told they are, such as the Mavs and the Geodes, even the Clays, like really clay, or the Belugas, like either Beluga. The zebras, which is probably the closest thing that we have that is true. The sesames, which I believe should be called something else, like almond butter. I don't really know. And the one that started it all, the turtle doves. Suri, show me a picture of a turtle dove. That's what a turtle dove looks like. Anyways, I'll get over the naming conventions of all the Yeezys. It is what it is. But the other thing that is fairly annoying is just the color schemes in general. They're so muted and like the same for every single one. And it's not a ton of variants if you think about all the different models that ended up releasing, but everybody keeps saying the same thing every single release. Another Yeezy that's dropping that looks exactly the same as the others, definitely not gonna cop. Come release day, I got my pair. Did you guys get yours? Check it out, the brand new Yeezys. I love this colorway. And I'm pretty guilty of doing the same thing. Like I realized that uh, we are falling for the same trap over and over again. This looks like a dirty pair of statics. Somebody said it. And it's pretty much true. At the end of the day, I still don't know who the father is. And it looks very, very similar to everything else we've already seen. We do know that it is a static shape, but the one difference, for some reason, they didn't um, add the back tab on this one. Maybe they ran out or it's just something that they didn't want to include. I don't really know. They don't really say any rhyme or reason, but they're called the exact same thing. This isn't called the Yeezy Ludmark no pull tab. It's just the same thing. So it's the same exact model, but different. Like at least with Jordans, there is the Jordan low, medium, high but that is the root of two problems one is the naming convention of the shoes and two is the fact that they all look the same so how do we solve that problem we don't we just complain about it for entertainment on social media and then when the drops happen we are excited to have another colorway of yeezys uh, and i am not mad at anybody that celebrates copying their yeezys because it was a challenge two and a half hours online and i finally got my pair uh, but I was happy to get them, and I know I say this every time too, because I'm like, well, it's still a nice colorway. And I'm actually a huge fan of just natural earth tones in general. It was something that when I went shopping for clothes, I always went with like blacks and then also earth tones. Like it was just something that I really loved. I loved all of the earth tones. I'd rather wear earth tones than like a bright, vibrant blue or red or any colors really. Um, I like earth tones, grays and blacks and whites. That's just kind of what I have always liked. But at the end of the day, even for myself, I'm like, do I go with the one that looks like this or do I go with the one that looks exactly like this one and nobody will know the difference? <laughs> For my grinning amusement though, I will say Nike does the same thing. Like let's release a brand new pack of really high technology shoes and then bring a flagship one out and have it be the same color scheme and then nobody will know which one's which. And when you go like this, nobody's gonna know which one you're wearing. Like they look exactly the same. But ultimately, who are you trying to impress? If you're trying to impress everybody else, like maybe it doesn't really matter anyway if you just like the shoes you like the shoes and we just leave it at that it's as simple as that you don't have to overanalyze it as i've done in this video but it is for my own amusement and as well as your guys uh ultimately this is a uh a color that i don't understand um it doesn't seem necessary and it's very very small difference between these and the other ones that ended up releasing 
uh, this time around as well. So I do like the fact that they are doing regional releases and that they're doing limited like reflective versions of the shoes. It's all kind of a jig though at the end of the day and hopefully you guys can see through that. It's obviously a way for us to buy the product, have more limited runs so it has more resale value and everything else and has more of an exclusive feel, which is exactly what I said what Kanye needed to do if they wanted to have more longevity after that crazy like cream release. But maybe it costs Adidas a little bit more to produce similarly different colors uh, for these Yeezy releases. But ultimately I think it is the smartest thing to keep the high beast engaged. And then all in all the general public as well. And it allows people to assimilate because they're talking about your product and then it kind of perpetuates and then creates more of a hype around it. So I think it's a smart move. I just ultimately think that uh, they should release different colors. I'm not opposed with them creating more. It would just be cool to see uh, different variants. If they did the same thing to the Ultra Boost and had more limited runs and ones that were more exclusive and ones where people felt like compelled to buy the Ultra Boost for more than just the comfort, which is a great reason to buy it. But if they bought it for some reason of hype and resale, uh, the Ultra Boost can get back some luster. And I think that that is absolutely possible. Uh, it's hands down still one of the most comfortable shoes on the market. They're estimating that Kanye makes a lot of money off this stuff. He makes 15%, Jordan makes 5% supposedly off of royalties and that he's gonna be a billion dollar empire like next year or whatever they were saying. But uh, I think that, that that is gonna be true, but I feel like uh, they have to continue this sort of wave of craziness. I'm just hoping they expand the circle of colors that Kanye had, his infamous little picture uh, of, uh, hopefully he expands it to more of a variety than what we've seen. Um, because it's just, it's very, very gloomy and we need more life and more color and stuff into some of those shoes like this one, the polarizing one, the one that everybody hated from the beginning that is now iconic because it has the pop. I think this one is one of the best ones because it has that pop. The other one is the Wave Runner right here because that added little color pop, it adds so much to the shoe that it gets people interested in the shoe, it gives it definition and something different versus the Menage Love Child that we have here. Like I said, who is your daddy, Lundmark? Like we need to know, leave a comment, and let me know. But that's the video, uh, kind of random. I just wanted to discuss this with you guys. If you guys like that I do these type of videos more, it's a lot less labor intensive for me to edit if I just do like these raw videos, but it's sometimes more fun to just discuss uh, with you guys. But that is, uh, yeah, what we have. Subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. It seems like there's 75% of you guys that are not subscribed. Vax should just hit the subscribe button if you guys wouldn't mind doing that. It would help me out. Give me a little boost on this video and give me some subscribers. But also hit the notification bell to be notified of when my videos are live. Have a great rest of the day. We'll catch you guys with more videos very soon. Peace, guys.